Ms. Jackson. Yes. Uh, if you had to make a solid decision on the matter, who would you say is your best friend? A uh, best friend? Who's closest to you? Oh, well, I'd have to say definitely Mr. Jackson in that case. Your husband? Yes. Eddie? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, can I get you something to drink? Do you a cup of coffee or something? No, thank you. I'm I have just... uh, orange juice, too. No, I'm fantastic. Thank you. All right, then. Uh, why don't you tell me about yourself and Mr. Jackson? What kind of things are you looking for? Well, we should start out simple and just see where the conversation takes us. How long have you been married? We've been married 20 years, almost exactly. Um, we were here mostly in town. Um, I work at the bakery and he's unemployed. And he's an artist. <laughs> he is a singer with no steady income though. And you're all right with that? You know, I think it helps him. And he's been through quite a lot in his life. I mean, his childhood. We won't get into that. He's gone a lot, so I'm not sure what he's up to. That bothers me. Did you ever think that maybe he has other people in his life? Maybe other women, maybe? I'm not implying anything, I'm just asking. That's fine. I know what it must seem like. But I will say, though, while Eddie's off calming his mind, as he often does, I do have another best friend that keeps me company. And who is that? Our dog, King Tut. He was a French master. One of the rarest dogs you can find. We were so happy when we got him. <laughs> he was like part of the family. I'm sure Eddie thinks so, too. Eddie does hate dogs. I, to tell you the truth, I do not think he was happy uh, having Tut, is it, around the house? In fact, I think he was quite abusive with that animal. I mean, ever since he was a puppy, he used to treat that dog like shit. But, I mean, other than that, he is not a violent person, though. He does have this one uh, problem, which is he is a compulsive liar. And I mean he lies about everything to everybody, which is why he can't get along with anybody. I mean, the sad thing is, I don't think he can do anything about it. Uh, he has a medical problem. And you can't expect people to believe that, though, because they just think you're bullshitting them even more. But uh, our relationship, our friendship, uh, is good. We hunt on the weekend, or at least go to the shooting range if uh, we don't feel up to crawling around and all so on. And uh, that's something that we have done since his father used to take us on long hunting trips. So we just continued it. So. Mrs. Jackson doesn't approve though. And I've never been absolutely sure that he, uh, I mean, I don't know that he even thinks about our friendship the same way that I do. It's always been so distant, for lack of a better word. And I really, I, do think that he's been getting more and more distant. I don't know where his mind is. Got all these ideas, stories. So I just thought our time together would maybe open him up. And I have this news I have to tell him, which I'm really.
prayed to because he has these moods. He's um, just mood swings. He always has. I just... Yeah. Uh -huh.